Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. Uh, today, I was thinking about some things I really liked as uh, in my childhood that my mom made, and I haven't made uh, videos yet. And um, two of them are, are some creamed vegetables, and so I want to do two of them today because they're very quick, quick to make. And also, I'm incapacitated; I can't do much chopping here in the next couple weeks. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is make cream peas, which I always loved as a child, especially on mashed potatoes. And then the second thing is something, I don't know if it's more acquainted to the Midwest, but my mom always made creamed uh, tomatoes. And again, it's a very easy, quick recipe, so we'll do that uh, second. So on the creamed peas, if you want to bring the camera here, we're going to start with uh, just a basic flour and butter roux. So here I've got two tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to slowly mix in two tablespoons of flour. So as you know, the key to this is equal amounts of butter and flour. And I had my butter softened so it melt, it's melting quick. So now I'm going to pour in the two tablespoons of flour. Kind of slow, get them mixed up good. It'll make a nice uh, smooth paste. You want to make sure all the lumps are out. Okay, that looks pretty good and smooth. So because I use two tablespoons, I'm going to use one full cup of uh, whole milk. Ooh, and again, I'm going to pour this in slowly. So it's going to be basically just a white cream sauce for me. So we'll keep stirring this until um, the milk gets thickened. Oh, just salt and pepper to taste. Okay, we can see our sauce is beginning to thicken up a little bit. Okay, so now next, what I've got here is about 12 ounces of frozen uh, gr uh, green peas. And I also got a bag of frozen pearl onions. And I pour, I got about 20 onions. It was about a, maybe a quarter of the bag. So we're just gonna pour that in. Turn our heat down a little bit. Like I said, when my mom made this, it was a must. She had to make potato, uh, mashed potatoes with it. So I'm gonna change mine up a little bit just to make it more to my tasting. I've got a quarter cup of some chopped bacon and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Like it a little more liquidy, you could always pour in a little bit more milk if you want. So this is it. We're going to serve this up and give it a taste. And I will go back to the 1970s in my mom's house. Well, I'm going to taste this. I, I just sprinkle a little bit of the bacon bits on, on top just to make it look nice. So I'm going to grab an onion and some peas. Mm. I like the onion. Good flavor from the bacon. But, mm. yeah, this just takes me back, back to my childhood. It's so good. Um, and what we'll do here in a minute, I'm gonna make up some uh, mashed potatoes. We'll pour some on our mashed potatoes. And, Hmm. Very good. Now look, it took maybe 10 minutes to make. Okay, Catherine, you give it a try. Now you'll know what it's like to grow up in the Havy household in the 70s and 60s. Mm. 
Mm, very good. I hate this. Yeah. So this is your mom. Oh yeah, we used to have this. This was kind of typical Sunday dinner. Always have cream peas. Very good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we made up the mashed potatoes. Looking good. All I'm missing now is some baked round steak, and I got a Sunday dinner that my mom would make. Yeah, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Very good. So we'll let Catherine taste this, and then we'll move on to our creamed tomatoes. <laughs> My mom also said in the recipe for that same white sauce for the cream peas you can use on yellow wax beans. I don't remember her ever making that, but that's what the recipe says. Also on her other recipe, this is it just on a little piece of paper. Uh, it's so interesting when you, I hope I don't get this way when I get too old. Uh, so like for the cream peas it says, make a white sauce with butter, flour, and milk and then pour the peas in it. So it doesn't tell you how much peas or how much flour, how much milk, but we figured it out and it, it turned out really good. So uh, on the cream tomatoes, it's basically, uh, my mom used to can a lot of tomatoes. So she would take a, a quart of tomatoes and, and make this. I just bought uh, sliced stewed tomatoes because I know you don't want it little diced tomatoes. So we're just gonna heat, heat up a can of this on the stove. And I don't think you have to do this. I'm gonna cut these up a little bit though. I'm just gonna take each of these and cut them in half. I hope I don't scratch up the paint. So for the sauce, I just have uh, one tablespoon of flour and a quarter cup of um, pretty warm water. So what I'm going to do is just make that cream sauce right here. I'm going to pour the flour into the, the warm water. Stir it up. Make sure you get all the lumps out. That's why it's important to use warm water or hot water. Also, I guess this is the main thing was in West Virginia uh, where this was made. And I, you know, Ohio's right next to West Virginia. So, and my mom's actually from Pennsylvania. So we're gonna slowly pour this in and stir. Keep stirring this till it gets a little thick. And I guess some of the southern states um, just call this tomato gravy. I had never heard it called that before. And to tell you the truth, I don't even, I, I hardly remember what this even tastes like. I just remember I loved it as a kid. Uh, and again, what she has on her recipe, I'm gonna do this two different ways. Uh, and that's probably why I loved it as a kid. She always put sugar in everything. <laughs> So we're gonna try this once uh, in one dish just as it is, and then the other dish we're gonna pour some sugar in there. That's probably what I remember as a kid. It's okay. Okay, so it's heated up uh, good, it got a little thick. I'm just gonna pour it here in a big bowl. We can use that as our serving bowl. I'm not gonna put much. We've been cooking a lot today. We're both full. It's okay for me. Okay. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do those. One's going to be with sugar. One's going to be without sugar.
I'm just going to put not much. I'll do the no sugar first. It's not quite how I remember. It's, it's good. It's, it's almost like a Campbell's tomato soup. So now let's try the one with sugar. Mmm, this is what I remember. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. Mm. So easy to make too. This is good on like the peas. If you get tired of just open up a can of peas or using frozen peas or tomatoes, this is a way to kind of change it up a little bit. Catherine's got the one without the sugar. <laughs> yeah, it is sweet. Uh, you're right, it is sweet. Yeah. Like I said, I remember as a kid, and of course as a kid, your mom, my mom put sugar in almost everything. So, uh, there you go. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over there.